so in this video i am going to show you how you can decrypt a password protected pdf file so hey guys this is vishwit welcome back to my youtube channel let's start with the video so in the previous video i have shown you how to read a pdf file how to read the images of a pdf file and in this video i'll show you how to decrypt a pdf file so before decrypting i am going to show you which pdf file i am going to decrypt so for example i have shown you i had two pdf files okay so i created another pdf file which is password protected so here you have to enter password and the string happens to be password okay so this is the pdf file that we want to decrypt okay not only decrypt decrypt and read right so we'll also try try to print this particular images also like get this particular image out of this particular file so how to do that so since now it is password protected obviously we can't we can't read it right yeah we can't read it so i'll close this i'll come back to my jupyter notebook i have already imported pi pdf okay if you have not done do import it now i will show you how to do it so as usual this time i will uh, let's let's not use with with is like a little bit difficult for me to show you so file object it will be uh, open and the particular file that we want to open which is the desert protected.pdf and if by any means if you face any issue with jupyter notebook just remember i have made a video dedicated on how to use jupyter notebook so just watch that video and you will be using jupyter notebook like a complete like a pro kind of a flow i don't know how to spell that but yeah you will be like a pro in jupyter notebook okay so do follow that particular uh, video so now if you check this so i am having file object equal to open the desert the desert protected dot pdf now how can we make sure that it is a password protected file definitely i have shown you i have tried to open the document using a third party like using microsoft edge so that shows that it is a password protected but how we can verify using python programming that it is password protected or not or any pdf in that sense so let's uh, do one thing uh, i have file object now what i'm going to do file reader or i should say pdf object okay and by pdf2 dot and it should be pdf reader okay and i have to pass the file object over here to here okay pretty simple right now uh, the next thing that i have to do is uh, here so i have the file object ready i have the pdf object ready so nothing much i'll just try to pin print the number of pages that i'm having so if i do maybe pages let me execute this in a new cell that will be easier so i'll execute this okay no error pdf object dot pages if i do shift and enter it is it is giving us some kind of an object okay i don't know how it is able to even read these pages so if i if i do maybe length of pages okay if i do shift and enter yep file not decrypted error fine so here while finding the length of that object we are getting that file not decrypting issue okay so if i just write this so this returns an object okay it's not doing anything upon the pdf file so no errors over here if i do zero then it should give us an error yep it is actually giving us an error file not decrypted okay so how to make sure it is an encrypted file so definitely you can try to read it and if it is not and if it is showing this error file not decrypted error so definitely it's an encrypted file okay so there is another check actually that we can do to make sure that it is an encrypted file so actually we have that attribute so is encrypted 
and if i do shift and enter it's saying true so it is an encrypted file right so let me try to open our old file the ocean the ocean.pdf and if i execute this and execute this so now it is saying it's false because it is not an encrypted file and let me undo this part and again execute so it is an encrypted file so the like we can put a check and like we can check whether it is an encrypted file or not so now that's not the question the point is we need to decrypt that particular file now how to decrypt that so it's actually easy so since this is encrypted this is our particular object so we'll, we'll get that object and we'll get decrypt it's that easy and we'll put the password we have to put the password over here my password happens to be the password okay so don't get confused with this so my password is actually this particular text over here which spells password so if i do shift and enter and i think we have a decrypted pdf object so let's try to find out the pages again if can we get the pages again like the first page if i do shift and tap and see we are able to get the pages again so there is one thing that i want to talk about so uh, you see this decrypt function over here so this decrypt function it might not work for all the password protected pdf so there are few modules that you have to install to decrypt a password protected pdf so for example uh, i will show you so there is another module the name of the module is spy crypto domex okay so you have to install this module to decrypt any uh, files that to encrypt using microsoft word because this is one of the issues that i faced this has the installation guide on how to install the visual studio code and how to install the python package and how to test okay so there might be few files that you won't be able to decrypt and this is the steps for the installation okay so if you guys want you can play with this i'll put this link in the description but maybe in the future i'll make a video on this also so apart from that uh, the the first thing that i said that after decrypting is the next challenge is hi i want to read the images right so for example uh, here in the desert in the desert file i want to read all of the images and text that is present like everything so not a very difficult task but i am going to do it so just see how it is done and it should be very easy because i have already shown you how to extract text and how to extract the images so i have the pdf object over here right so where is the pdf object uh, it's okay it's over here so now the first thing is i have to target the pages right so first we'll target the pages so uh i will do for page in okay let's get the number of pages okay so number of pages or i should uh, i can also do this like len of this pdf object dot pages and if i print it so number of pages in that particular the desert protected pdf is three okay so now uh what i want to do is i want to target every single page so for i or maybe for page in we can do range and len of we can do this also like we can do for i in range len of pdf okay like as i showed in the previous videos but uh, we can also actually avoid this since this particular object is uh, iterable so we can do for page in pdf object dot pages and we should be able to print it so if i do print page and if i do shift enter see even we are able to print it since this is an iterable object okay this whole thing is an iterable object now the point is i want to extract all the images and all the text of a particular page right so uh, now text we can 
easily extract and we can print it over here but for the image we have to save that image right we have to save that in our directory over here so uh, let's suppose i want to i want to save the text first for a particular page so how i'll be able to do it it's it is easy page dot text if i am not wrong okay uh, it should be extract text fine so page one contains extract text and we should be able to print it and we will be able to extract every single text over here so for the first page even you can we can omit this also like i don't need it like what's the point we already have a page number being printed over here right so you can see the page one is being printed page two printed page three printed pretty simple right pretty easy so how we are going to get the images so that also very easy so directly i'll be opening it so page dot images okay and here okay we have i have to pass a loop so like for image in page dot images pretty simple so once this is done then i am going to open the particular image dot name if i am not wrong we have the name right we have the name attribute and the data so with open image dot name as file and i'm going to do file dot write it should come up yeah file dot write and i'm going to write the image dot data data and it should be done and just to make just to uh, just make sure the image name okay you can see the image name over here it is having image 11 dot jpg image 14 dot jpg okay these are the image that i uploaded to the pdf file while i was creating the pdf file right so it might happen that they are might like your uh, in the in the pdf it might contain that both the images are, are having the same name so like image 11 over here image 11 over here so just just make sure that both the images are different then only you will be able to save it so the best way is to add something some string data over, over here maybe some kind of count over here okay so if you want we can do it for example count equal to zero and here we can use an f string okay i hope i am not making things much complicated so the image after the image name okay i will this is the image name and i will be adding count before that okay count should be in string so it should be str of string fine do i need to give f strings if i am doing in this way i don't think i need f string because this this is a string if i'm add if i add it to a string this will be also a string so i don't think we need that f string so file dot write image data and it should be able to write it uh, i think that's all so just okay i have to also do count plus equal to one okay and that's it now if i do shift enter okay if i do shift enter okay i hope it was able to save the images now let's verify that do we have images over here image 11 what is this this is the this is some some different image this is not what we are expecting okay it's saying file not found okay so i found out was what was the issue so generally if i do shift and enter i don't want to print it okay so if i do shift and enter okay so it was say, it is saying file not found error so the reason being when i opened when i gave image dot name i the python program is looking for a file right it's looking for a file in the directory we are not creating the file so i have to tell it please write binary now it is it is creating that particular file so i don't need a count one for now 
so now if i do shift and enter we should we should be good right now if i open nasi we are getting the images so this is the ocean one this is also the ocean one this is the desert one this is the desert one see pretty simple only for this particular uh, thing wb it was not happening right such a silly uh, mistake that i made so uh, uh, now the now the thing that i wanted to say is so luckily all our image names are different over here so we have image 11 we have image 14 21 and 24 so now what i wanted to make make sure that for example if this particular image names were were the same like image 11 image 11 image 11 so it will be overwriting one particular image again and again right if all the images are having the same name so that's why i wanted to use the count variable so maybe i can do str or maybe the string name maybe i can do yeah i can do str and i can do maybe count and maybe i can give a plus over here and now if i do shift and enter if i go back see it is able to add a zero okay we if i do count should be outside okay now if i do count plus maybe an underscore okay now if i execute this okay i my bad now if i execute this now you can see we have an image why it is coming like this zero all the time okay because my bad because i put zero over there it should be outside right so now if i execute now we should be getting yep we are getting zero getting one let me remove all this garbage over here okay now if i execute this we should be getting yeah zero image 21 dot jpg fine and one one image dot 24 dot jpg fine you get my point right the purpose of this only if if you have same file names that's the reason i'm putting count over here so that we get different file names so that's it so i hope this video was helpful i tried my level best to make you understand or how to decrypt and what all things to take care of while you are decrypting a file in the next upcoming videos i will show you how to encrypt a file how to split a file how to merge a file and how to create a pdf file so that's all for this video i hope you liked it if you did do press that like button thank you for watching i am going to see you in an awesome upcoming programming video